hey guys what's up welcome back for another video on my channel so today if you obviously see the title it is a little different than what i do you know i've been coming at you guys with a lot of different things um just because you know quarantine got me thinking so as i say that let's go ahead and get into the video right okay so like i said if you guys seen the video um the title of the video then you know like i did a book haul so i just want to jump into why i did it so we are in quarantine you know um my state we are in a level three so that means it's high exposure blah blah, blah. so all that good stuff um i took a leave of absence from work i will be going back in a little bit just because of how things ended up working out but i'm going back in a little bit but with the time that i have i wanted to just sit down and i wanted to just like fill my brain with knowledge instead of just like i mean i've been playing video games obviously i've been like being with my daughter if you you can kind of hear her um videos playing in the background but being with my daughter and just you know just taking everything in so to start off they're not in order they're not in any type of order um the first book that i order is called i'm rising i actually finished it i really enjoyed it here's the book and then i will put in the description below i put all the books that i got the authors everything i got them all off of amazon so i paid i think like 150 in books just like overall so it, it's about like 12 books that i got so it's called i'm rising it's by michelle stratford um and it's just as it says on the back an empowering self-love poetry book that reunites our our drive to become the best version of ourselves it encourages us to face and conquer our fears and pain to build inner strength and resilience the powerful prose urges us to own and celebrate our power with a call to action to harness our self-confidence to achieve the goals we're destined to shatter so i really love this book um at first it starts off like depressing not depressing but it starts off as the author um it's actually about them it's kind of their life and it starts off with them like okay i'm going through this like this is what i'm going through that's what i mean when i say depressing it's just like i'm going through this i gotta get through this like i'm really upset and then boom they peak they come out over it they start to like become something and then it definitely takes off from there so i really enjoy it this is my first time reading a poetry book so you know definitely 10 out of 10. all right the next one that i have and by the way a lot of these are bestsellers so i did get like top of the top books that people say are really good so Next I have is Dear Martin by Nick Stone. And then I know a lot of people say don't judge a book by its cover, but when it comes to books, I judge books by their cover just because, I mean, as you can see, cover, it's Black Boy, Dear Martin, I mean, already got me hooked right there. So Justice is a young, good, is a good kid and an Justice is a good kid, an honor student, always there to help a friend. Um, so why is he the one in handcuffs? And someone said, a New York Times best-selling author of Turtles of All the Way Down, they said, a powerful, wrenching, and compulsively readable story that lays bare the, that lays bare the history and the present of racism in America. So definitely, I would definitely want to read this. All right, this next one that I have is boom, boom, boom. It's David Banner's book. So my mother-in-law and sister-in-law actually got this book. Um, we were sitting in the living room as they got it and they were reading excerpts from it. And it was just like speaking to me, like they talk, they touch and talk about so much in this book. So David Banner, good job. I definitely got to read it. When I read it, I'm definitely holding on to it. Definitely highlighting, definitely keeping it. Um, it's just a really powerful book from what I've heard and like the little like just page turning that I've read. Um, in the beginning there was the word and the word contained the knowledge. Those who were called to share the word were called messengers and their mission was to spread the word. Once these messengers accepted their calling, each year of their lives became more and more productive and had more of an impact on the history of civilization. As they share more of their knowledge, God bestowed more upon them until one day the message they shared rose to a level of power that liberated his disciples and followers. Right there, that just tell you how you, this just tell you is some knowledge in here. This just tell you that he about to drop some stuff 
that we should know that we should have already been hit to when people say we woke this right here this book is what woke me y'all i can't wait to get into it i can't wait to read it all right so some of y'all might judge me for this but i definitely wanted to see what all the hype was about so her volume one and two so i know they're poetry books um i know they start off one goes into the other i just wanted to see what the hype was about um i haven't started them like i said the only one that i've read is i'm rising it doesn't really have a back but i know it's about like love and just like all these books have all these books that i've got have one or two things in common it's either speaking about us being woke and dropping knowledge that we all should know or it's about being self-empowering having self-confidence being just able to push through everything just be confident be you like if anything's going on if anything if out of anything is really just telling you to love yourself and just be empowering no like i'm okay it's not like those are just the type of books like I'm into. Like I, I want to be educated. I want to be, I want to understand everything that's going on, if that makes sense. So, bam, got those. And then to match that, just because I felt like it would, you know, give me an insight into my boyfriend's head, I got him. And it's all, they're all by the same offer by um, Pierre Alex Gente. So yeah, I wanted to get more of um his books but i was just like eh, let me see like how these three go and then maybe we can get into his books all right and then just mercy so over quarantine i watched i not even i wouldn't even say that i kind of watched um the movie but books are way better than a movie we always hear that so I definitely miss most of the movies. Books so are way better than the movie, um, as everybody says. Well, most people say. So I definitely wanted to read it just because I missed a lot. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to get in this one just because I know a little bit of the backstory. So, and then for all of my, you know, basketball people, all my sport people, I had to get this one. I love reading good sport books. Um, shoot your shot. A sport inspired guide to living your best life by Vernon Burn Burn Dad Jr. Um, if you guys keep up with me, if you guys keep up on my channel, I am a track coach, a high school track coach, and then I will hopefully be a basketball coach sometime soon. Um, maybe even both, because I love both the sports. Those are both the sports I played in high school and I played basketball in college. So I definitely like love sport, good sports books. Um, Shoot Your Shot identifies the key principles that the world's most elite athletes have applied to their lives and relates how you, the reader, can use those same principles in your own life and in all of your pursuits to help you attain success and realize your dreams. So, can't wait. All right, so this one, it might, it might shake a little bit of y'all up. So, I got Small Doses of Potent Truths and Everyday Use by Amanda Seals. My sister-in-law has this book and her best friend has this book and I just hear she is touching on some great things in this book so I definitely want to read it. Um, doo -doo -doo. So Brandon Victor Dixon, um, actor, producer, and advocate says, it is Amanda's commitment to her own growth and transformation that creates an empowering space for us all, even, if, even in our vulner vulnerabilities. These gems announce Amanda as one of the most important voices in our culture. So I know that she is really woke. I definitely like follow her on Instagram and I follow her on all her social media platforms. So definitely will the keeper. All right. So I got some twins coming up. Bam and bam. So let's start with this one. So the hate you give this, I saw this movie probably like the beginning of quarantine and I fell in love with it because this was so powerful and again just like just mercy the books are definitely much better in my opinion are much better than the movie so I definitely wanted to crack this one open um after seeing the movie it definitely like I said became one of my top movies so I really I really love this movie and then after that one came this so on the come up it's supposed to be i think it's a spinoff but i don't really know um but we'll see we'll definitely see and then last but not least 
so I will tell you guys I have becoming Michelle Obama just because I really love Michelle Obama and I love what she stands for I love the person that she is like and I mean she has a dope ass husband come on now so I have this one I got this one probably like a year ago and I'm almost done with it just because you know work being a mom so I got this one about a year ago but I did find like her journal book to that so it's just the guided journal for discovering your voice and I looked in it and it's just like do you have any favorite quotes like if you could have a conversation with a loved one who passed away what would you ask him or her where did your ancestors come from and what challenges did they face um what kind of childhood did your parents or grandparents have how was it different from from and similar to your own just like she just has greatness she even has like her own playlist that she put in here of songs and she wants you to write a playlist in here so i mean just greatness but that is it guys um i will come to you guys with another video most likely it will be another lock video because if you see your girl is a flourishing over here you see these locks no i mean we, we're not even gonna touch on that we're not even gonna touch on that but that's it guys i'll catch y'all later bye